thanks again for clicking. I got another video topic for you. Um, some of you regular viewers, I don't know if I have any, but if there are any, you, this is kind of an inevitable topic you probably knew was going to come up eventually. And maybe you care, maybe you don't, but uh, it's something that since this is a channel for me that I pretty much, since I don't really have anyone to talk to, <laughs> this is a, this channel I made as a way to uh, to get things off my chest and potentially, uh, I don't know, entertain or, or you know, I, a, lot, a lot of people's videos, I enjoy watching other people's videos like this, so if I can at the same time therapeutic, therapeuticize myself, which I don't think is a word, but you get what I mean, I mean this is therapeutic for me, and if I can at the same time do that, um, also potentially, you know, helping people out there, helping, you know, viewers, then, uh, then that's awesome. So, so I went kayaking on the, on the lake la yesterday, and I, I don't think the battery was very charged, so I just, I bring, I br I've been bringing the camera all the time, and I'm just like, let's just go where I don't bring the camera, sorry guys, but I'll probably go, maybe I might do the lake again soon, so, it's a pretty good day, so, I had wished I brought the camera. But I kayaked the lake for a little bit yesterday and swam because I'm like, holy shit, you know, I keep having to remind myself it's August because this, this summer has been so, <clears throat> so, uh, I mean, it's beautiful weather and just 70s and 80s and stuff and very cool and not humid, but it's, it hasn't been a lot of sun, which I like during the summer because you're not in the sun all winter and I want my vitamin D, but whatever, so I thought, well, we better... You know, there's only like a few couple, there's like two or three weeks of this left for the whole year. You better, if you want to do any, you know, spend any time in the lake swimming, you better do it now. You can't, you know, so that's what I told myself. So I went out and I swam a little bit and kayaked a little bit yesterday. And there's this spot on this lake, I really love it, where maybe I'll shoot a video and show you guys, where, uh, where they have uh, just uh, like sailboats and stuff moored up, you know. And I love the, just the sound of like a sailboat's, you know, like a, uh, whatever you call it, you call it a mast. You know, if they have, if there's something like metal or something on the top where, you know, it goes back and forth and it makes this clink, 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 clink. I just like, I just love the sound of like a, a, a place where all kinds of sailboats are, are docked or moored because it's just the sound of like, just the sound of, uh, I don't know how to put it into words, like, sound of, uh, what's, leisure, you know, leisure sound, like, it's a very relaxing sound of, like, all these, you know, vessels of leisure. So, it's, for me, it's like a positive sound of just, I also love the sound of the water, you know, lapping on the hull of all these moored up, you know, little sailboats and stuff. So, was, there was this one woman you know, doing some, she had just bought this sailboat or whatever, and she's doing some woodwork, you know, stripping the wood or whatever, and then she was going to oil it or whatever on this new old boat she bought, and I paddled by her, and I'm like, ahoy! <laughs> and uh, this, so this is kind of like a, I, I wouldn't call it a social anxiety video, but there's always anxiety when I, <clears throat> and I, I, I do want to uh, time check I do want to tell you guys, you social anxiety people who, who have all your limbs and all your, <clears throat> and aren't physically, quote unquote, crippled. I use that word "cripple" a lot, and I don't mean it in a demeaning way. I just, to me, it's just a streamlined, direct way of saying. I actually prefer that more than the the term handicap, which is, um, if I was a person who actually were to get offended, which I don't, because. I don't care about what people say or have to say or think enough to get offended. Maybe that's about an, another video. I don't think I'm going to do it today, but a video that I about just me living in a way that's so I don't know how to how to describe it, but not really being one to get offended, and that that stems a lot from not really putting much stock in what people think one way or another. But on to continuing this topic, which. I don't know where the hell I was going. I think I was saying, you know, all you social anxiety people who have all your limbs and appear physically, you know, anatomically correct and stuff, don't know how lucky you are, actually, that, you know, you don't have to deal with the, 
with a with a further anxiety of uh, not that I'm not that I'm saying oh poor me oh me oh me, you know, uh, I'm not saying that at all. But it is at the end of the day, nevertheless, something that you have to deal with being a quote unquote cripple. Oh, that's what I was saying. I was saying I, I don't use that word in a, a self uh, in a way that's as in any way demeaning towards myself. It's just. Oh yeah, I was saying that I don't like the word handicapped. I think that's really stupid because in my experience, I'm a lot more handy than a lot of <clears throat> um, people who have all their limbs. You know, there's a lot of <laughs> people who have all their limbs and all their appendages who are much more handicapped than I am, but that's another video. Um, so I hate that term handicapped and, you know, there's nothing, there's no term that I really like. Um, physically challenged. I mean, none of that is really, I would say, is true. And um, so anyway, long story short, because I only got like 15 minutes, I approach, there's always anxiety when you approach people, especially being shirtless and just being out there for everyone to see. And you, there's always that thing in the back of your mind when you're doing a, approaching a stranger and you're doing the small talk is when, you know, is it, is, are they going to bring it up and how and how am I going to deal with it? And all this stuff. So it kind of, that's one of my reasons why I generally, although I've been trying to do a lot more of it this year, which I have been doing around this particular lake, just talking to people. <clears throat> and the experiences have been mostly favorable, unfortunately. I mean, this this one was fine, and I didn't really get upset. To, I, didn't, I didn't really get upset. You know, it was just one of those kind of things like, uh, I could have done without that. So we're talking, I asked her about time trek. I didn't ask her about the time, I was checking the time and so <clears throat> I asked her about her the boat and you know how long she's had it and she had it and she just bought it yesterday or whatever and I'm like, oh so you must be a sailor. So I was I was asking her questions and of course when it was her time to ask a question or no, the first thing she said is like you and I get this a lot too. Well not a lot, but I've gotten it before, which is Oh, because I'm kayaking, you know, you do that really well, and, you know, this is where I'm like, in my mind, I'm going like this, like, okay, here we go, you know, <laughs> and I, I kind of, I'm never, you know, it's never pleasant when someone brings this up, so I kind of said, yeah, so I've been told, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know, I, I, I don't think I can respond in a, in a happy way, and then she went on, of course, to say, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, but whatever. She's like, because, you know, we weren't we weren't that far apart, but I mean, I don't know. She's like, do you have a thumb on your arm so you can hold that? You know, the, the kayak paddle. And I'm just thinking, I just, in my mind, I'm just going like this. I'm just like, I've got no thumb. I can't remember what I said. I have no thumb on my arm. And I'm just thinking, I don't, you know... This is the direction I don't want to be going. I just, you know, and then she continues to go on and on. I guess she figured I asked her about her boat, which is not a part of her body, in my defense. Uh, so she could ask me about my body. <laughs> I would have answered any question she had about my kayak, you know. I mean, I didn't ask her about her, you know, she was really, really old and her skin was sagging, you know. I didn't ask her about that. Um, I, I So... Long story short, I, I tend to find it intrusive when people ask about my arm, and personally, I'm not. Uh, I've, I've tried to. I've been trying and trying and trying over the years to think why I don't like when people ask, and I think it boils down to just me time check. It doesn't interest me, and I think I might have said this already and briefly in one of these videos. I can't remember. You know, it. it, it I. I it doesn't interest me, and it's not a topic that I want to discuss, and I also think it is rather intrusive. It's a personal thing, and it's kind of like if, if I want to tell you anything about my anatomy, how many testicles I have, how long my thing is when it's erect, what happened to my arm, if anything, I'll just, I'll just tell you how long my dick is, or I'll just tell you how many testicles I have, or I'll just tell you what, if anything, happened to my arm. And so, you know, she's like, oh, how did, I can't remember exactly how she, how she worded it, but something to the effect of, well, what happened? And uh, this is, this is my, this has been my answer for the last several years and probably for the rest of my days, which is very simply, oh, I don't talk about it. And that, that works really well. 
and um, that and she instantly is like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Oh, oh, oh. And it's just so. This is just a brief little video about my experience yesterday, which normally, I mean, I, I was surprised. I guess I was just out in the out in the sun and out a little bit whenever it came out from behind the clouds. Out in the summer day and on the water, I guess I just and put, and she wasn't. You know, it wasn't. It wasn't the. It was one of the better experiences I'd had with someone who was, in my opinion, overly inquisitive. So I didn't let it. It didn't really affect me in a negative way. I mean, it way I would have, had I been able to choose, I would have had her not ask that. So that's one of the one of the anxious one of the things uh, anxious things that go through my mind every time I approach. Really, uh, if someone approaches me or I start talking with someone that I don't know, is is you know. You know, is is the question coming? I know it's on their mind. It's probably on their mind. When's it going to come? Is it going to come? And what form is it going to come? And also, are they going to get offended, or if I don't, if I deny, or when I deny them the answer? And and believe it or not, and this is why I hate really dealing with people. <clears throat> this is why it's easier just to you know stay stay away from people. Is I actually have had people who have gotten huffy or offended when I deny them an answer, as if they deserve an answer to any question they would ask. It's just unbelievable, you know. So uh, so I wanted to make a video about that because it's really fresh, really a new thing that just happened yesterday. And like I say, it, 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 it didn't bum me out as much as it, a lot of times it does. I mean, every single, you know, uh, situation where someone asks about it is, is unique. You know, and the the way they ask is different from the last person, or potentially different from any way anyone has ever asked before. But it's always, you know. <clears throat> so that's that's my personal uh, opinion on on that, and my little. I guess we might as well end it. What happened yesterday, and uh, so yeah, so so um, I just wanted to tell all you social anxiety people out there who have all your limbs and there's also some you know relatively attractive people with social anxiety I've seen on here and you know I just I can't I can't really you know personally you know believe how you could be socially anxious especially if you have all your limbs and especially if you're attractive with all your limbs but uh, I realize that it's you know it's it's a it's a mental whatever and it has nothing to do with your appearance but I just thought maybe I could do a video where you could try to tell you guys how lucky you are that you have all your limbs because imagine having your social anxiety you have while missing uh, quote-unquote missing potentially quote-unquote missing a limb and how much more anxiety that would bring into your life so luckily I don't have as much social anxiety as a lot of you folks do but you know on the, on the other hand <laughs> or not uh, you know uh, to make up for it I <coughs> have a physical uh, situation that can make social situations awkward yet, but on its own so that's kind of a bummer so thanks for much for that thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you on the next video